All around us, our world is filled with problems that seem nearly completely unsolvable. Over the years, researchers and scientists have done a great job to unravel some of these mysteries, however some still remain unexplained. Today, we will be tackling these incredible mysteries by looking at a few of the most surprising and mind-boggling questions of the modern era. So here are five mysterious events that can't be explained. Where did the octopus come from? Researchers have found that the octopus contains a rather strange ability when put in comparison against all other life on Earth. Researchers first realized that there might be an error with the evolutionary timeline of the animal kingdom on our small blue planet, given the sudden variation and explosion of life during the Cambrian period, referred to by researchers as the Cambrian Explosion. Interestingly enough, this has caused a team of 33 authors who have published an extensively written, studied and peer-reviewed publication. It states, they believed that it was made fairly obvious that the octopus had developed strange new abilities that its ancestors would not have possessed, especially given the short span of time it would have had to naturally evolve. These abilities were the sudden appearances of complex nervous systems, camera-like eyes, and a capacity for camouflage that all seemed to have evolved rather suddenly and without precedent. This is not nearly the full extent of this strangeness, as recent studies have confirmed that the octopus has the ability to rewrite its own genetic code on the fly and purposefully manipulate its own genetics to accomplish quicker forms of adaptations and developments, an ability not seen in all other life. This forced researchers to think outside the box when it came to plausible solutions for this inconsistency with the ancestral family tree and has led to the rather mysterious assumption that it is highly plausible that the octopus cannot be linked to all other life. This has led some to suggest that the octopus is in fact an extraterrestrial. If it did not come from here, then it must have come from out there. Out there meaning deep space. The Mysterious Men in Black It's been suggested by some that there may be a secret agency working around the clock to suppress any information regarding extraterrestrial life. Although this sounds like something from a movie, others have put forward the idea that there is in fact definitive proof of this happening. This secret agency is said to work with the government to help suppress certain information. As of today, this is all just theory and there is no solid evidence to back up these claims. However, there are those that believe mysterious men in black will silence you if you have information about UFOs. One such encounter with these men in black comes from Dr. Albert K. Bender. Dr. Bender was a highly educated and intelligent man that so strongly believed in the alien phenomenon that he privately funded the creation of his business. This was known as the International Flying Saucer Bureau that would investigate UFO claims and be a reliable and scientific private consulting firm. This firm would lead to promising results as the doctor was preparing to publish a paper revealing a vast amount of evidence and proof of the cover-ups made by certain agencies and scientific evidence of extraterrestrials forever to change the conversation about such occurrences. This changed entirely after Dr. Bender claimed that three men dressed in all black suits, went to his house and demonstrated supernatural abilities and threatened him to shut down the bureau and to destroy all of his files. Many of the doctor's colleagues and friends reported Bender as being a completely changed man after this men in black encounter, saying that he lived his life in constant paranoia and anxiety from then on and refused to even talk about anything relating to the extraterrestrial, supernatural or paranormal. Interestingly enough, Dr. Albert Bender wrote about strange phone calls that plagued him throughout his life, even up until his death in 2002. Why do we need sleep? It might seem obvious to people who hear this question and believe that the need for sleep is already a predefined and well understood phenomenon of the medical world. This is hardly the case. In fact, even the evolutionary advantages of sleep are not entirely known to research scientists studying this strange need. 
A frequent misconception people seem to have is that sleep allows our body ample resetting time and our mind is to relax and shut down to allow us to perform better during the day. The truth is, however, that sleep is not a resting period and that our mind actually begins going through a higher performance known as an active period, in which a lot of different functions begin happening for no real understood reason. These various functions can range from information processing, restoration, and even memory strengthening. One of the added benefits of sleep, weirdly enough, is that it helps our mind reinforce information retrieved during the day and play a vital role in memory retention. What is all the more odd, however, is that no one really knows how or why this occurs, and even though sleep is the single most activity humans will do throughout their lives, the secret surrounding sleep continues to elude us. A question that further leaves scientists scratching their heads in confusion is the argument of evolutionary advantage. What could possibly be the advantage of forcing a member of the animal kingdom to spend one third of its life unconscious and vulnerable? unable to eat or stay on alert for predators, or even just to perform natural bodily functions. This strangeness is only compounded further when analyzing that every single member of the animal kingdom requires sleep and to deny sleep for a prolonged period of time that could result in seizures and then subsequently your passing. But why is that? No one really knows why sleep is so required and why, without it, you can die. Perhaps there is some supernatural secret to the idea of the abstract world that sleep provides us and the answer might be far more extraordinary than scientists can understand at this moment in time. The Accounts of the Sea People Though there were many ancient civilizations that had existed during the 12th century BC, suddenly and quite unexpectedly, nearly every civilization was wiped from the face of the earth except the cities of Egypt. This phenomenon was recorded as the late Bronze Age collapse that soon bled into the early Greek Dark Ages, as only small villages of humanity survived this sudden catastrophe. For many decades, the cause of such an occurrence had widely been known and shrouded in mystery. That was until the ancient language of the Egyptian hieroglyphics had been decoded and allowed us to read the historical records captured at the time by the last standing ancient civilization. This record has led to countless theories and endless debate amongst Egyptologists, classic historians and archaeologists since its findings. Reportedly, by the historical accounts of the ancient Egyptians, armies of what had been referred to at the time as Sea People attacked and demolished the cities of man. In fact, the descriptions of the armies of the Sea People describe monsters and giants coming from the oceans and waging war against all of civilization. The reasoning for why this sudden onslaught had occurred has yet to be better understood. But what is all the more surprising is the vast conspiracy surrounding the events. Accounts continue of the Egyptians attempting to track the source of the beasts that appeared humanoid in nature and found hundreds of footprints leaving and coming from the beaches of the Mediterranean Sea. Today, after uncovering vast art depicting the battles, documents detailing the events, and further evidence of war and tactics used against the destroyed and forgotten civilizations of the past, the proof of the account of the Sea People appears to be overwhelming in nature. As a matter of fact, the events are so overwhelming that the discussion surrounding the event in the scientific community has been completely shut down and further theories or attempts at uncovering the truth are treated with both disdain and ridicule. Regardless of this ridicule, however, many researchers continue to attempt to understand the mysteries of the Sea People and remain restless in their pursuits. Perhaps one day we will better understand whether these accounts are of mythology or true history. Until then, the accounts of the Sea People are shrouded in creepy events and terrifying mysteries. Where is all the life? It might sound like an odd question to ask, given the fact that our little blue planet seems to be teeming with an absurd amount of life and variations of it, but that does not seem to be the case anywhere else in the universe. In fact, it is so much not the case that it is mathematically implausible. For comparison, the Milky Way galaxy is filled up with roughly 400 billion stars and billions of planets. Understanding the new advancements made by the Kepler Space Telescope, 
we know that roughly one-fifth of those sun-like stars have at least an Earth-sized planet in a habitable zone, which can vary greatly as the recent discoveries of the TRAPPIST system that held seven Earth-like planets in habitable zones seemed pretty common. If even so little as 0.1% of those planets had life on them, or some variation of life, then there would be roughly one million planets with life in just the Milky Way galaxy. But there isn't. Even taking time into consideration only seems to make the math more implausible. The chances for life are pretty great. The Milky Way itself is about 13 billion years old. The first habitable planets in the Milky Way would have come into existence about 2 billion years after the universe was formed. This leaves about an 11 billion year period since our formation for other advanced life to have been formed and since Earth is only 4 billion years old, there has most likely been trillions of likely chances and scenarios in the Milky Way alone for life on other planets to pop into existence. All we would require to notice other life would be for just one species of these trillions of potential incidences to advance into a spacefaring civilization. Given that research states that our population growth and technological rate would allow human beings to colonize the entire Milky Way galaxy in about 2 million years, if we assume all outcomes the same, we would be able to see an alien civilization by now considering the time, chances and probability of other life to have formed. The fact that we do not is horrifying. This has led many researchers to believe that maybe the forming of complex life isn't the issue and that perhaps there is an extinction level event to filter out the formation of complex life right around the corner, including ourselves. But what do you all think of these five different mysteries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.